Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. I am so glad you are here. Um, and welcome everybody to my channel. I have a new project today. I hope I'm fully prepared so that you don't have to stay too long, but we'll do our best. Everything gets complicated with me, you know. So here we are. I've made a letterbox. And um, over here, I've just made a little postcard, note card thing. And over here on the letterbox, this is what it looks like. Now, I put things behind it. and um, I'm not going to do that on the second one because I decided I didn't really, I did not really like it. But in here, I have put postcards. And I'm going to show you what pack of paper I got those out of this postcards pack. I got this, I believe at Joann's. It's a DCWV. I think it's die cuts with a view. Um, anyway, it has some gloss to them, but there's a lot of postcards in it. And that was why I bought it was because I wanted the postcards. So all kinds of them. It's really cool. Whoops, even that kind. <laughs> and that kind. And those. So there we are. That's what I'm using today. Now the other green paper. I think it might be out of the old world stack. Yes. It's another die cuts with a view. Um, you get um, this is an old world stack. I think. Well, I must have got it at Joann's. There it is. That's the paper I'm using. I wanted it to look like a patinaed old mailbox, you know, sitting on an old house on the front front door steps. So that is what what we're doing today. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to start with is the base. I'm doing this one slightly different than the other one. I am using um, this die cut, and it looks like the other one I use this one on. But this time I want to use this one. Okay, so this part actually comes attached to it and makes a slot down here to put paper into. But it was too thin for this project to do that. And so I had to think of another way to do it. So what I did was I cut this piece off and then I had to cut these off because otherwise they get too long for the paper. But what I do want to do is I want to glue this on here like this. I'm going to match them up and I'm going to glue this piece on the end just to give the mailbox a finished look. Now you could glue it this way if you want but I didn't like the look of that. On this side it kind of blends away. So let's get our glue out. Put some of this on here. So just lining those items up just a little bit. Get my towel. Have a new towel today. <laughs> I finally remembered to get it out. They're just over by my sewing area. So it should have been easy. But anyway, there we go. It's okay if it doesn't quite line up down there. We just kind of want it to line up up there. Now I'm going to trim this extra little piece off right here. Just to keep it kind of even. And now we're going to put this one on right over here. And you can see it gives it a much more finished look. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a nice finished top for our mailbox. Okay, so because this one is different than the other one, I realized that I need to put something on the back to push these guys together. I need to clip that off because it's kind of in the way there. My trimmer didn't, um, didn't like trimming right there, I guess. So what I did, what I'm going to do is even this up on the back. Hmm, that one's kind of crooked. It's okay. It won't, it won't be showing up very much. So what we want is to line this stuff up back here. And then I'm just going to take this piece here and apply some glue. So this is taking a product and remaking it. So maybe right about there. Oops, I moved it guys. No, I don't want it to show up up there. Doesn't matter if it's crooked, we're not going to be looking at the back. It just is going to put these two surfaces together so they don't fall apart. Okay, 
Now, this is the other piece that came off of the mailbox. Off of, I'm sorry, off of the this part down here. I just clipped these off. And now I'm going to take this part on the bottom, this part, and I'm going to fix it so that it is covering up that line. Now let's see if we turn it this way. Oh, I think maybe that might be better. Then I can just kind of put that right there. So uh, how is everybody today? I hope you're all well. So I'm going to try and put this video up today and I'm going to have a successful day. That's what I have to say about it. I am going to succeed today. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and line this up on each side with these little areas. And that just gives it another little finished look right there. So then I want to take this piece and fit it right there. Okay, so there's that piece. Now, let me tell you what size this was, since I forgot. I cut this at four inches wide by five and, uh, it looks like it's about five and a quarter to five and a half inches tall. You just wanna be sure that it's going to fit on your paper. Um, that, of course, is important. Grab my paper. Yes, it's going to fit fine. So then what I wanted to do was make a little letter box for here, which is this piece right here. So I this is from the same pack as this green paper. So I cut out some pieces and some hinges for it, some gussets. Let me put those over there. The letter box measures uh, three and three eighths wide by four and a half tall. And it's going to go right on here. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to cut that envelope shape into there like I did on another project that we did a day or so ago. So I'm going to take this and this time I'm going to get it as close to this edge as possible and then I'm going to try and do the same over here. So there's one. Now let me just double check, make sure I had this right about there. Okay, flip it over and be right about there. That looks good. Okay, get rid of that. We don't need it any longer. Now I want to cut that piece off and it's just so that it's like a thumb uh, thumb slot, you know, making it easier to get things in and out of it if they fall down inside. So I took this and lined it up on the bottom of these um, curves. And you just cut that middle part out. Gives you a really nice envelope there. Don't think I need that anymore. Okay, then I made my gussets. I cut them at about a half inch wide and then folded them half. You can see that I just used the paper I had and cut my next one. It's not the same width and that's fine. They don't have to be. And then I just flipped it over and measured them, made sure that they would fit. And when they are long um, and go all the way, I, I, it's how I do them. But when they're short, and oftentimes I will cut them shorter when I want to just glue the bottom and not put a gusset on it. So I'll start at the top with these. Uh, people are mowing like crazy. We're having great weather. My husband mowed. Oh, the poor dog. Grandpa's disappeared again. Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandpa. That's what I imagine she's saying because she keeps coming to get me like, I can't find Grandpa. I can't find Grandpa. This morning I finally had to take her out to the garage because she needed to know what Grandpa was doing. This is our granddog, by the way. And uh, we're babysitting her. Puppy sitting. She's not a puppy. She's several years old. Anyway, I had to take her out the garage. She was just sure he was done with his treadmilling. And you know what? He was. <laughs> Uh, so I took her out and I said, you've been caught by this dog playing around. So I left her out there. But then they both came in. 
So I was able to get my shower and get started with my day. Oh, I love to get started with my day much earlier. I feel better and I can get way more done in the morning than I can in the afternoon, especially when it starts getting hot. Um, this room, in the winter, it's the coldest room in the house. In the summer, oh my goodness, it is the hottest room in the house. And I've had to go to um, closing the door so all the animals stop coming in when I'm when I'm working in here. Okay, so you can see that the bottom looks kind of funky. So let's put a base on it. Now, do we want the same color or do we want something a little different? Um, I just kind of feel like I need something a little different down there. Should it have something like that? No, it needs to be different. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, we could go purple. We could go a rusty orange. Oh, I like that. There, that's a little different. Let's use that. Staying in the color theme. So I'm going to just bring this over. I'm going to cut this little piece off the bottom. Right like that. And then let's take a look at it. Oh, I should have done the top in that same color. Wouldn't that have been pretty? Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to put this down here. And I think, oh, I think that looks nice. It adds a little more oomph to it, doesn't it? We like oomph here. We love our oomphs. So, um, yeah, I like that better. I do. So let's do that. Okay, so probably right about there. I'm just, I'm just eye measuring. I hope you don't mind, but sometimes we just have to eye measure. Now I'm going to give these just a little diagonal cut on each end just to decorate it up a little bit just to give it some shape so everything's not squared off everywhere and I'm going to glue this about halfway onto this so I'm not going to put glue on this one but I'm going to put glue on there um glue she has glue Gosh, I had weird dreams last night. I always have strange dreams, but wow. <laughs> My brain, it just thinks up all kinds of goodies. Okay, now before I press that down, I really want to flip it over and make sure that I have it even here because otherwise it will look all wonky crooked. Okay. I need to get my digital done for you guys. I had the digital for the things I got at the antique store. I forgot I was going to make them for you. So let's double check our page and be sure it's okay. And boy, it just fits. You do want to keep them towards the side after you cut your paper. Um, you know, trim it all up to be even in your signature. So, you know, it could be that we might have to nip some things once it goes into a book. But we'll see. I like that. I think it looks cool. Okay, so let's get back to put, putting the front on it. I know what we'll do right here. Maybe we'll put that on there. That would look kind of cool. And then we'll trim that to fit. What do you think? Make it a little bit thinner, of course. I wonder if we can. Oh, see, here I go. I'm reinventing the wheel now. This is what I do every time. I'm always like, my mind is always working. It's like, oh, we could do this, or we could do that. Or, wow, what if we did that, and this, and that. And... Okay, we're going to do that. I think that really helps it to um, give it a more, um, I think it's more pretty that way. Once we get it on there, then we'll trim it to shape. Now, if you want to make this part stronger and make it a pocket, you can do that by cutting a second one of these and gluing it 
to the back of it so it still all matches up. And then you'd have a nice pocket up here. Or you could do this pocket this way and you could put a pocket here, which is what I think I'll do with this one. Okay, cutting around the little corner there. There, looking good, looking good. A little more trim right there. Let's get, oh yeah. I love that better. That is very cool looking. Now it's looking a little more like a mailbox. So let's go ahead and apply this piece right here. And then, what, you say what? I should ink it? Okay. I'm going to use ground espresso because it's here. Now the mailbox I have on the front is actually designed like this and I just took a picture of it and uh, it's a non-usable mailbox. It's just a vintage pretty and that I got at Michael's. That's, so it's not really vintage, it's new vintage. Um, vintage look, I guess. Anyway, I just took a picture of it and um, went from there. I thought that it would make a cool pocket. And you know, I, I think it does. It's different. Um, I haven't seen others of these on. Doesn't mean they're not out there, but um, I wanted to share it with you. So uh, that's what I do. I walk around and I look at things. And I'm like, oh, I could do this, or I could do that. My glue looks awful thin today. I always worry about that just a little bit when it gets thin because it may not stick. I want to bring it down towards the bottom a little bit and even it up as best as you can, you know, so it looks decent enough. If we get more decent, great. If we get less decent, it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, let me get my towel. I just hate to use my new towel. <laughs> I used to use these when I make bread. Now I go and buy them for art. That way I don't, um, they don't give you all the fuzzies. You can see that ink is coming off of there because it's an oxide. If you get it wet, it oxidizes a little bit, which might be a cool thing to do on this is to spray a little bit there and let it run. But I'm not going to do that right now. Don't do it, Ange. No. No, no, no. Okay. Not going to do it. Okay. So, next. What did she do next? Well, she got some of these things out of the way. And she used uh, stamps on it. So, I put letter. But I think what I'll do is put U.S. mail here and letter here. Or we can just stamp post office. So let me get my other part of my stamps over here because I want to use my highly pigmented pad because it really inks nice. Now here are the Tim Holtz, the letter and um, post office. I mean we could just do post office and letter. Uh, postal card, airmail, stamps. Yeah. Oh, my hands were so inky last night. Um, one thing that I found that helps me is to find something that is aligned. Now, I have these old um, creative memories, uh, Titletopia doodads, and I thought, well, what the heck, I might as well use them. So this basically gives me a center line and gives me a line to punch along. Um, it does help me a little bit. Not, it's not great for me, but um, you could do it at an angle if you wanted by flipping one of these up here and go along the angle or, you know, whatever. Whatever works for you. Um, but I think I'm just going to try and go straight across because that will work best for me. Stamp pad. This goes underneath. It does help. I've seen Gail Augustinelli do this, and hey, it works. Having just, and this is just one of those little foam things. 
it works to keep it to give it a little cushion so you stamp into it and then that works really nice so here's my U There we go. U.S. mail. A terrible stamping. I told you I wasn't good. Now, if you don't like that, what you could do is put a piece over it. I don't like it. You could stamp on a piece of paper and then cover it. You could print something out on your printer. You could cover it with an air mail. The U.S. mail would be nice if I'd have centered it better. What I think I would do next time would be to stamp it on a separate piece of paper that coordinates and then I think I would put the piece of paper on there let's see if that fits no because see well some of the ink shows up but that's okay but that's really not right either that's not what I want so I think what I would do is take a piece of this right here and we'll stamp it again I think there was a top and bottom to the eye too. It didn't look like it, but I think there was. Okay, so to me that looks better than that, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do then is just put this right across there. Yeah, I was way off, wasn't I? So let's cut it off right there, and then let's give it that same angle clip that we did before. Oh yes, that's better. So the other thing you could do would be to put brads in right here um, with some little holes, which would look nice. I need to clip that just a little more so it looks a little more like the other one. Yeah, you could put the tiny brads in here. That would look really cool. Tiny brads. So we want them to look old, so let's find an oldie color. Copper's fine. Take your pokey tool and a little spongy mat. I think I have some even smaller than that. I'm just going to poke the hole in because I think that we don't want the hole to be too big. There we go. They're so tiny they're hard to work with. So there we go. That looks better. Much better, 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 better Christmas sweater. We're going to have a day. All right. Anybody been watching Hallmark movies, Christmas movies? I I started out watching them, but <laughs> I think I've watched so many in the last couple of years, you know, with the COVID and all that other stuff that I just, you know what? This needs the other kind of glue. Oh, I like that better. It's better having it in another color. Okay, so then what I did was I took my cards and of course I put backings on all of them, not like this. I had my book here. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm trying something new to quit messing up my whole desk. But I can tell you it, it takes me a while to learn something new like this. <laughs> I got into my stamp drawer and I found some stamps and I wanted a blue one so here's a blue one let's put it over this green one and it's um, Netherland so I did notice that and then um, let's get away from the green oh this that's blue we don't want blue we could have blue if it's a little different Ooh. Now this green is different. We could do that here. But yeah, I thought it looked a lot better. Um, you know, mixing the stamps up a bit. Whoops, stuck that one to that one. I don't need those in that little bag, but I'll save the little bag because 
that'll make a nice pocket on something. Huh? Okay, let's cut these off. So you can see, this is the part that does take some time, cutting things apart. I'm, I'm kind of watching myself to see what it is I'm doing and what might be taking longer, what might be shorter, um, things like that. I tend to implement so many different things. Um, <clears throat> because I really enjoy what I'm doing. And one of the people I listened to today said, <clears throat> you need to keep enjoying what you're doing. Don't try and change things so much that you don't enjoy it anymore. And I was like, oh, didn't think about it that way. I should have brought in my smaller rounder, but I'm going to use this one. because I want them to look like the older postcards. And they are usually rounded, aren't they? Of course, these are not really postcard size either. So, I might ink a little bit now and then. So what I was saying about inking, we can ink these up a little bit, just like this. Just give them a little grunge. And then, of course, you might want to come back and do the back, too. We won't do the backs on all of them today. So there's those. Just going to tear that little piece off there. And that one too. So there we go. So now you can attach this to another piece of paper first if you want to. Um, or you can just attach it um, right to the paper. Get a piece of paper. Well, here's just a half sheet, but if I don't, if I do it that way, I can't see what I'm talking about. No, I don't want to put it on the same one. I mean, we could. Um, just put it on another piece of paper to start with and then put it on here with the other piece of paper. Okay, so let's put this one on this side <clears throat> since the other one is on this side. So let's ink it up a little bit. Look at my inkers coming apart. Yeah, it's, um, it is fun to make videos. I, I really, really enjoy it. <clears throat> you get away from it, and it's kind of like, <gasps> it's like, oh my gosh, I miss it so much. Okay, so like I said earlier, I think with this one, we'll leave an opening here. Um, we'll leave something that kind of sticks out with a tab, so we don't have to put a tab hole in this. Not a tadpole. A thumbnail. No, I don't want ink. I want glue. Yes, glue it is. So we do want to glue this down, but we also don't want to close up our opening if we're going to slide something under it. So we do want to 
put something here across the top. Something not there. And what I want to do is line it up across there, right? Yes. Yes. Right across there. Okay. It's very hard to get around all of these things. So you just do the best you can. And then we want to come right down along here. Hope it doesn't all dry before you get it done. And then I'm holding the wrong side. I'm going to hold this side. Glue on my fingers. And glue the back down. Okay. So there we go. We want to put it more towards the front because otherwise it'll get caught up in the back and we don't want that. So if you have more stamps, you can put more stamps on it. Um, you know, like, like the one that said letter or something like that. And so what we have here is, not those, we have these three. So we have one in here. Uh-oh, I glued it down, guys. I did. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, I glued it down right along the side there. I should have checked it right away. I didn't put the brad through it because, remember, I didn't put... I didn't put the brads down right away. I didn't put them all the way through the envelope, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's see if it fits now. Okay, so there we go. We have that one. And we have this one. But yeah, I glued that one side down. Let's peek. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, right here. It is glued tight. When gluing, do not glue, glue your hinge all the way flat. There we go. That should help. Okay, that one. And this one. So see, there are ways to <laughs> unglue things. And then we have this one that could go right in here. Maybe stick out a little bit. And um, on the opposite page, I took one of these big postcards that's in there. And obviously, they're way too big. So I just folded them over like this. And then I folded this one over. I just made them right into a pocket. Just like that. Now you could cut it down if you wanted. I'm going to leave mine this way, tall. Don't glue it down, Angie. Okay. Okay, okay. It's 
So I was messing with my camera today. I was trying to decide whether I should start going into the 4K mode. But it all gets kind of complicated. So I'm just going to put this here like this. Or you could keep it even with that if you wanted. But I just glued it down on three sides. And then we have a nice little postcard place here for some tags or for some more um, some more of these. And there we go. That is all there is to it. What do you think? That's what we've done today. Let's see if I can bring you a little closer. Yeah, a little bit. So, anyway, U.S. Mail. There we go. And U.S. Mail here. So we got we have two of them two designs from this to that could change them around if we wanted like this okay well thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this little process and I appreciate you being here so I will talk to you later. Bye.